every season in January, we travel here. Staying in Philadelphia, we traveled with the orchestra. Um, it was St. Petersburg, it was Vienna, last year was Paris, and now the British Isles. Um, yes, of course, London, but all the landscaping, which is really has inspired a lot of composers uh, through the eras and through the centuries. Um, so it will be an opportunity to discover the true geographic of British Isles, also the folklore, but through it also experience the scope of the stylistic taste of the orchestra, uh, also the sizes. So uh, the most extremes are, uh, for example, Fabio Luisi in his concert within this festival, conducting an excerpt from Tristan de Isolde, which is a Celtic legend and is one of the grandest Wagner operas. And at the other end of the spectrum, there will be myself playing at the piano with the principals of the orchestra some chamber music in an Elgar piano quintet, which is a great, great masterpiece of chamber music, not, I think, unjustly uh, not so well known. That program will also feature music by one of the greatest British composers, uh, which is Benjamin Britten, is Forcey Interludes from uh, Peter Grimes, one of his masterpieces. Um, we'll have also uh, in this program some Baroque music, and this is something, of course, very important for me uh, to do with the orchestra, because I believe the Philadelphia Orchestra can play Baroque music very uniquely, retaining its color, but also being lighter and transparent. So Handel's water music, uh, Handel was not a British composer, as we know he's a German composer, but he really elected England as his home. And uh, water music is something we hear on radio, uh, we hear all the time, but very rarely live. So with the great Philadelphia Orchestra, that will be something not to be missed. If I say Scotland, we think bagpipes. And uh, there was one very famous piece that Peter Maxwell Davies wrote as a Scottish composer in tribute to uh, this kind of tradition of the bagpipes combined with the orchestra. So uh, this is called uh, an Orkney wedding and it's a really fun piece, very colorful, matching really successfully uh, the, the sound of the bagpipe with the sound of a symphony orchestra. This will be actually a complete uh, program uh, dedicated to Scottish music. Other composers outside of Scotland being inspired, most famously Mendelssohn in a uh, on a journey, on a trip, on a voyage to Scotland, wrote many pieces inspired by what he saw. And his Scottish symphony has all of this inside uh, of it, the melancholy, the gray skies combined with the immensity and majesty of the sea, uh, and yet the fun music in the villages uh, and the old architecture and the ruins. This is uh, all in this very well known and yet one of my favorite symphonies of all time. And we're gonna have our own Juliette Kang as a soloist playing the Scottish fantasy by Max Bruch. So that's also an event not to be missed. We take the opportunity to have this festival around the British Isles to have some connections over all the season, you know, some teasers, I would say, about British music. Uh, the season will open with a Dvorak not so well known overture to Othello, which is a great uh, piece by Shakespeare, of course. And maybe of all the music that's been composed on Othello, maybe Dvorak's overture is the most Shakespearean of all. Uh, we will have Donald Ronicles bringing to us a great piece by Vaughan Williams, the fantasy of, on a theme by Thomas Tallis. And our own Christian Masellaru will conduct Holes the Planets, which is, a, of course, a beloved piece and really showcasing our orchestra.